All right, everyone, this is Ryan again. Um, this is an eighth video in a series dealing with WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom WordPress blog theme. So this is not the standard theme that you can download over at WordPress. Uh, this is one that you either purchased somewhere or you got it for free somewhere. So uh, for those of you that haven't watched the prior seven videos, uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, go over to your address bar up at the top of the page and type in www. the letter u and then save domains. com. If you scroll over off our home page and scroll down a little bit, you'll see a bunch of video tutorials here. And right over in this section are the other earlier videos. I'm going to walk you through how to set up your own blog step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's say you found a theme that you wanted and you've downloaded it. And I'm going to show you one right now to where you can see where you can get some. Um, if you go over to W or excuse me, w, woo, w o o, and then themes plural dot com, you will see a bunch of WordPress themes. Now keep in mind that many of them have fees associated with them, but there are some free ones. And the way that you can see them is click on our themes, and then over here you can click on free. And if you scroll down, you'll see some of the free ones here. But the one that I've already downloaded is the blog theme right here. So I've already downloaded it, I've unzipped the file, and now I'm going to show you how you can install it. So you should already by now have your WordPress blog installation complete. I'm going to go up here to my address bar and I'm going to go to my blog's home page. And here it is. This is just one of the default ones that I could choose from when I did my first installation. There's hundreds and hundreds of other ones. If I scroll down here, I can log into my admin area. Let me enter in my password here. Just a second. Oops. Hey. Okay. Now, in the earlier videos, I showed you how you could initially set up your initial theme right here into the appearance over on the left side margin. And you'll see the theme section there. Now, here's the default one that always comes with WordPress when you install it. Here's the one that I just chose under up here under Install Themes initially. There was a hundreds and hundreds of free ones there. Uh, but this is the one that I chose. But you notice there's only two here. So I'm going to add a third. And how I can do that is I FTP up to my server with my FTP program. The program I'm using here is FileZilla. And I don't recommend going to FileZilla.com. Go to Google and do a search for FileZilla. And uh, you'll find it there. It's a free FTP software program. And you'll notice that the, this left side are the files on my hard drive. The right side are the files on the server and I need to go to my themes directory over here on the uh, files on the server and that is located in the wp-content directory and there it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on it again and I will see the two that we previously saw on this page these two and now I'm going to send over the unzipped blog theme that we saw over at WooThemes that I downloaded and I'm going to just click on it, drag it, and drop it over here. And now you'll see all the files downloading up to the server. Excuse me, uploading up to the server. So we'll just give that a moment or two to uh, upload. Now one thing, um, if you find this video helpful and you think that other people would benefit from it, look around the video that you're watching. There might be a thumbs up sign or the ability to uh, give it a kind of a thumbs up or a social media markup. If you could please do that. Uh, whether you're a member of Facebook or um, uh, stumble upon or read it or dig, that would uh, greatly help us. I would appreciate it. So these are still uploading. You can see there's quite a bit of files. I'm just going to let that uh, load up here. Now we've got uh, a lot of other videos on our home page in case you want to learn some other additional things. Let me load this up here. We can also show you how to install some other 
uh, open source products like Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, Zencart, Simple Machines, and we're going to be adding more also later, but just to let you know that there's a lot of videos over here that you can watch and teach yourself things. Okay, you'll see here that it stopped. The full file is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my admin section of my blog, and I'm going to click on themes again, and watch in the middle, you'll see three appear. And there it is. It's right there. And if I want to activate it, I can click activate. Let me just click save all changes here. I can fill this information out later. Alright, so now if I go to my home page, you will see it has changed. And I'll click on the name of my website up here on the top left corner. And you'll see my blog theme has just completely changed design. And I can go up here to back to my dashboard and I can start working on it. I can start messing with my posts, adding pages, adding links. But if I ever want to change the theme back to what I had before, I can click on, where are you? Well, actually over here I want to point out something. You'll see the blog theme here. So you can modify a lot of options regarding that particular theme right here. But if I ever want to go back to a previous theme, or I want to choose another free one that maybe is on WordPress, I can go over here, click on Themes. And up here I can install themes and choose new ones. See, remember here in the previous video I can choose what kind of theme I want to look for. But if I want to go back to the previous one, it's sitting right here and all I have to do is click activate and it'll bring it back. So that's how you can uh, set up your own custom WordPress theme over at usavedomains.com. Alright, thanks you for watching and uh, keep a lookout for other videos later. Thank you. Bye.